don't ask for a raise. So this is something that a lot of people might not even have trouble with because they're already too shy and scared to ask for a raise. But if you're overemployed and let's say you've been doing it for like a year or two and at one of the jobs, you know, you're a little underpaid, like you realistically, especially if this was your only job, you should be getting maybe like 1.5 times your current salary or maybe like an extra 30, 40 grand, whatever. I mean, depends relatively where you're at, right? But you get the idea. So in this position, I would really recommend actually not asking for a raise or a promotion or any of that shit, right? Like, don't rock the boat. If you get a promotion, that's going to come with higher pay. But the problem is sometimes the more you get promoted, the more responsibility you also get. And sometimes that's not the case. So it depends team by team, company by company. But on average, I'd say that that's the case. And the issue with that is the more responsibility you have, the more impact you're expected to have, right, on your team. Uh, that might lead to more meetings, uh, more time spent. They might look to you for more advice, more help, people pinging you all the time. Hey, where should we go with this? How should we do this? And it might seem counterintuitive because in some ways you could expect someone that's more senior in a team to have more freedom. But that's not always the case. Sometimes those people are actually going to be the busiest people. And it makes sense, right? Like they get paid the most. They have the most impact. And they have to spend the most time on the team, investing in the team and the team's future. That's the biggest thing. If you're a junior or a mid-junior employee, like a mid-senior employee, sorry, you can get away with doing your independent work, getting your tasks done, and no one really expects anything of you in terms of thinking ahead. Like, obviously, they prefer it, they like it, but they're not going to be upset with you if you're not planning features out for two sprints or couple months ahead, right? And looking for the future. Oh, how is this feature going to affect the customer's usage? No one's really going to expect that of you. And that makes it a lot easier to be overemployed in that sense. And you will get paid a little less, but a lot of people would argue it's worth it. And it makes overemployment more sustainable for the long term. So if you guys can avoid getting promotions and getting huge raises, I would avoid that. And you might see that at the end of the day, the money will kind of even out. The more money you'd get from that promotion is not going to be that much more because it'll be unsustainable for the long term. You might have to drop one of those jobs eventually anyways. So if you guys have ever been in that position with overemployment or just in general, like even if you've had one job, remote job, whatever, and you got a promotion or a big raise, have you noticed that your responsibility and expected uptick in work has increased? Because if you have, please let me know in the comments below, share your opinion on how that is for you as well. And remember guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Overemployed Masterclass. We teach you how to become and how to stay overemployed and check out the free Discord or the paid Discord, either or. So yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.